Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It is officially 2018, and I know I've been a little bit lost, but that's a story for another time. Today's objective in this video is about skin, and particularly the skin that some people seem to have a lot of trouble with, which is lips. I am an esthetician. I am trained in skin and beauty, and it's not fair to me or to you to not be able to teach you the things that I've learned along the way in my journey being a skincare professional. So that's what I'm here to do. I'm going to teach you hacks, life hacks, natural remedies for your lips, for these beautiful lips. So let's get into it, shall we? Okay, all right. So with chapped lips, it affects you negatively how? Not only does it hurt because it's broken skin, dry, irritated, and you wanna constantly lick your lips to moisten them or relieve that feeling. It also wears down on your self-esteem and consciously you know that your lips are crusty, dusty, and they have an issue. And that interferes with your daily life, whether you notice it or not. Dry skin on the lips has multiple, multiple causes. But one of the main causes is weather. So when the weather changes, our lips and our skin change. And for those of you up in the winter, your lips are feeling everything right now. And for us down here in the warmer climate, our lips feel sunburn and dryness from the sun. There are other causes that go into play with dry lips. Dehydration, lack of water, that has a lot to do with dry lips. Allergic reactions, those are things that can cause your lips to have issues, to chat, to break, okay? Over licking of the lips, that can also cause you a lot of issues. Vitamin deficiencies. What, vitamins? What do you mean? Vitamin deficiencies can also chap your lips. So it's not just weather, it's overall health. Your lips are telling you a story. They're telling you what's good. Like, why are you like this? When we have chapped lips, most of us resort to like, oh my God, my lips are chapped. I'm gonna apply like 18 layers of lip balm. Where's the Blistex? Where's the Carmex? My lips need Jesus. That's wrong because there are tons of chemicals inside the lip balms that can cause infection in your lip. What? Infection? They're supposed to have healing properties. They say they're medicated. Yes, people, they are medicated. But you already have all these cracks in your lips. So you have to address that first. I'm not saying not to use lip balm because that's something that's essential, especially medicated ones like Blistex and Carmex. Those are really good brands. But you have to take preventative measures. If you don't take preventative measures, all the moisturizing in the world isn't gonna help you. Here are some natural remedies to heal those bad boys and keep them healed. And keep them nice, soft, and supple for any season. First things first, you're gonna have to drink more Water. Jackie, I don't like water. It tastes gross. Jackie, I tried. I don't know how to do it. You need to drink nine to 10 glasses of water. I know that it's hard, but inspire yourself. Put some fruit in it. Infuse it with flavors. Or buy yourself a cool new bottle that you wanna use. Motivate yourself to drink more water. Have a goal. If that's the case, make it like a game for yourself. How many glasses can I drink by the end of the day? and reward yourself for doing so. This is just to get you kick-started in drinking more water. It takes 30 days to make a habit. So if you can do this for 30 days, it'll become second nature in drinking water. If water is really a problem, try drinking natural fruit juices. Get those vitamins, get those nice nutrients in there, and you can kind of substitute the water for your fluid deficiency. I'm not saying you should only drink fruit juices, Okay, concentrate is not the option. Drink more water. But if you really don't like water like that, throw some fruit juices in there. Give yourself a treat. Humidifier. Humidify your room. For those people down here, closer to the equator, don't humidify anything. It's so humid in here that it's just unbearable. 
for those of you up north, your air is dry at this time of the year. So put a humidifier and moisten your room, preferably at bedtime. You'll notice a difference because your skin and your lips will feel a lot softer in the morning. Cucumber. Yes, I said that right, cucumber. Cucumber is beneficial for so many reasons. Not only for your eyes in the spa, but it's beneficial for your lips. Yes, I said it, your lips. So what are you gonna do with a cucumber? Peel the cucumber, cut it into slices, put it in the refrigerator for 30 minutes, let it chill, and then lay down, relax, put on a show, do whatever, lay in the tub, and apply that same slices of cucumbers chilled to your lips for 10 to 20 minutes. You say, Jackie, I don't like that idea. So then take the juice of the cucumber from either what you peeled or the actual cucumber itself. Apply it to your lips and let it sit for 10 to 20 minutes. Then rinse it off with lukewarm water. Scarves, scarves, people. If you are in the winter time, Scarves aren't only for your neck and your chest, okay? Like, they are for protecting your lips. So place your little scarf off and protect your lips, girl. Scarf. You didn't think I was gonna throw that in there, but you're gonna wear them in the winter time. Might as well use them to protect your lips, okay? Sunscreen, you don't just apply sunscreen on your skin to prevent premature wrinkles, skin cancer, sunspots, aging spots acne underneath the eyes for multiple reasons. Apply it to your lips as well because your lips are a part of your skin. There are lip balms and uh, chapsticks and things of that nature that come with SPF already in them. Or if you have a moisturizer that has SPF, rub it on there too. Or if you have SPF period, rub it on there. Do your due diligence. Take care of your lips. You need them. Coconut oil, that's right. Coconut oil is high in vitamin E. This is a C. E, that's right. <laughs> and it's good for your lips. So you can apply it three to four times a day before bed, just a little Q-tip in there, not the finger, because you're gonna bacteriorize the whole shebang and put it on your lips. You're allergic, don't do that. Since it is high in vitamin E, it is extremely nourishing for your lips and essential for the healing process. For all different kinds of oils, castor oil, flaxseed oil, almond oil, avocado oil, all these oils you can do. Sorry, I'm looking at my notes. I have like notes here. So if you see me veering off to the side, it's because I've made a lot of notes. I want to hit all the points. You know what I'm saying? Okay. One of the oils I want to talk about is mustard oil. Girl, what the hell do you mean mustard oil? I mean mustard oil. Mustard oil is an antibacterial. And if you have a little bit of an infection in your lips, due to for whatever the cause, doesn't matter, place the mustard oil on your lips and it'll help fight the infection, the inflammation, and the, the pain that you have there. That is what mustard oil can do. Mustard oil can also be applied directly to your lips, but apply sparsely and only leave it on for 10 minutes. Remember, this is just gonna be Kind of like an antibiotic that you put on your lips for antifungal, antibacterial, anti-inflammatory. 10 minutes tops, very sparsely. Another oil, jojoba oil. Jojoba oil is an amazing oil in general. What it does is once you place it on your skin or on your lips, it will help rejuvenate new cells and help the healing process begin quicker than without it. If you really wanna do that, Place the jojoba oil on your lips for about 15 minutes. This is good for people with extremely dry lips. I'm talking about you cannot move it, you can see peeling, all of that good stuff. Jojoba oil is there for you. Honey, yes, honey is one of the essential portions of keeping your lips nice and healthy. Not only is honey an antibacterial, but it also helps keep moisture in and add moisture to your skin. So mix a little bit of honey and a little bit of lukewarm water. Make like kind of like a liquid and place it on your lips. It'll taste good and it's also doing its job. Vaseline. Vaseline has a wide variety of items that it sells from 
body lotions to skin treatments to straight up Vaseline to lip Vaseline. I have a little jar, it looks like a baby, and I put it on my lips. One treatment that you can do is Vaseline, okay, and some honey, make it kind of like a little bit of a paste, and then apply it to your lips for 10 to 15 minutes. Vaseline is what we call an occlusive molecule. Occlusive meaning that it's a larger molecule than something like water gel or uh, something in your normal moisturizer. It's an occlusive molecule. So it's gonna trap that moisture in. So all of those benefits that the honey's giving you, that Vaseline is trapping it in there for 10 to 15 minutes. You want to use Vaseline daily, you can, because it's a little bit safer since it has natural extracts in it and it's a little bit safer than lip balm. Exfoliating your lips. People, you're gonna have to exfoliate your lips. Exfoliator, I got this in my ipsy. Looks kind of like this. This is like a sugar scrub. It's already made process. A lot of companies make it. Victoria's Secret, I used to have one. They also had a lip balm on top of it. Jeffree Star Cosmetics makes one. Anyone makes one. But if you don't wanna go out and spend money on a lip scrub, you can make one yourself using brown sugar, olive oil, and lemon juice. That's a great scrub for anything, your body or your lips, and it's edible. There's nothing unnatural about it. Another way is with your handy dandy toothbrush. So when you're brushing your teeth, you just kind of go and rub along and take that and just clean your lips. If you have an infection, please don't do this because the chemicals in the toothbrush will damage your skin further and will irritate it. Let your lips heal naturally. Thank you for licking my toothbrush, Just You licked my toothbrush. Green tea, green tea is great. Boil some bags, put them in the refrigerator, and then apply them to your lips, and it applies moisture. So these are just little lip treatments that you can do. They're not hard. They're little lip treatments that you can do at home. Boil a little tea bag, put it in the refrigerator, put it on your lips. Aloe vera. Aloe vera is one of the best natural remedies for anything. Your skin, your lips, your hair. Aloe vera is an amazing freaking plant. It really is. It's like a miracle worker, okay? It's good for everything. You can put some on your lips and it'll help with the cracks and the sunburn and all of that. Anything that you're feeling on your lips, you got a bad wax, throw some aloe vera on those bad boys and you are good to go. The aloe vera will help you, okay? This is not a game. And if your lips are extremely cracked and you're like, bruh, I don't know, try drinking some aloe vera juice. Help heal that dry skin, help heal those dry lips. Avocado for your motto. You can mash it up, put it on your lips, put it on your skin, put the whole freaking face mask on. I don't care. It is a natural moisturizer. Avocado is a natural moisturizer. You can use that as a skin mask and a lip mask, all at the same damn time. Chamomile. Open the chamomile um, tea, put it inside a jar, add olive oil, avocado oil, coconut oil, any kind of oil, and leave it overnight or a couple of days to infuse. Apply that to your lips. Natural lip balm, natural healing, calms redness, calms inflammation, soothes, and the oils that you're using are moisturizing. Juice and the don't. Make it a habit to apply sunscreen to your lips, okay? You're gonna need to make that a habit so you don't get dark, patchy, dry skin around your lips. And also so that you can prevent any cancerous cells from going on your lips. Your lips are skin, people. They're a part of your skin and you need to care for them. Exfoliate your lips at least three times a week, okay? At least three. And then apply whatever serums, face masks, things of that nature because your skin will absorb it better and receive more nutrients at that time. Your diet is crucial. Eating leafy greens, tomatoes, fruits, vegetables, those are all things that have vitamins and that are good for you and reflect well on your skin, including your lips. Eat better, let go of the fast food this 2018 and get yourself a salad, okay? It's a dollar for a Rojera Romaine at Walmart. Do yourself a favor. Eat some leafy greens. 
Use lip balm or shea butter or anything that you like. Always check the alcohol content in them, but use them. Hyaluronic acid on your lips, serums, something. Use them. They prevent dry lips. They're not there for when your lips are dry. Like, oh my God, my lips are dry. Now I gotta put on gel thick. Like, now I gotta fight the dry lips. No, prevent the dry lips. That is what the lip balm, the shea butter, all of these treatments are gonna do for your lips. Don't, do not continuously lick your lips. It's not helping, it's hurting, you're drying your lips out, you're not helping anyone. I know you want to, I feel you, but you cannot. Do not bite your lips. That will make it worse. Biting, picking, scratching, like ha ha, all that will make it worse. Do not rip skin off before it's ready to come off. All you're doing is damaging the skin and hurting yourself and creating a scab, which is worse than the little flaky skin that you had. Don't do that. It's not good for you. Don't have are, like fruits that are high in citrus or spicy foods when your lips are chapped. It makes it worse. Try to avoid those foods till your lips get better. Sometimes some medications that you're on, I know that's like really random, but it's 2018 people, we all meds. Okay. Like high blood pressure medications and other types of medications can dry out your lips. If they're really affecting you in that manner, then go ahead and speak to your doctor. Let them know what's going on and see if they can help you with that condition or if they can give you something else that won't affect your lips that much because when your lips are chapped, they hurt, it's hard to eat, it's hard to talk, it's hard to smile, they're very uncomfortable, they make you self-conscious and they make your self-esteem go down and that can take an effect on a person. So if it's really affecting your life, like your daily life, speak to your doctor because it could be your medicine. If your lips are chapped, try to avoid your toothpaste touching your lips. There's a lot of artificial ingredients in the toothpaste that can irritate the already damaged lips. Try to rush your teeth like that. Smoking, yes, Jackie, everybody knows smoking is bad, but smoking, smoking, smoking affects you directly on your skin and on your lips. So if you can quit smoking, I advise you to quit smoking. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me. I have no problem answering them. And if you have any remedies that you try at home, and they seem to work for you, let me know down below and I'll try to use it and apply it and then let you guys know how it went because I am down to learn any new trick for my lips. I hate crusty lips. Like, I hope this video helps you as much as these tricks have helped me throughout the years. Be safe wherever you are, guys, and I hope you have a wonderful new year.